And now we're back to Zack. This plot thread that we've seen like two seconds of over the course of 30 hours. Let's start this manhunt. Over like 30 hours, we've gotten like just a little tiny 10 second Zack time and then back to normal. What does he look like? Cool to see Midgar again. Like a big chunk of it. Have you seen this man? Seen anyone around here who looks like this? I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. That guy kind of looks like him. Does this guy look familiar to you? Who's that? Who's that? Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Pray not. We've got freebies going. Well, Does this guy look familiar to you? You gotta hold it a little. Gotta hold it a little lower there, Zach. Put it right above his head. Or her head. Chocobo show. Let's go to the Chocobo show. Shit. Think that's Avalanche? Could be. I just hope I can put on a good stuff. Huh. Better check it out. Interesting. So what do you think is gonna happen to our baby? By the way, can you pause during this? You can. But all you can do is say, but he does squats! <laughs> this game could just never be serious, can it? <laughs> There's our man. The squats never cease. And back. We got all five. <laughs> that was like thirty seconds. Whoa. Pardon me. So where are we bound this baby? So far south. What's there? Not Corel, that's what. I'll step on it. <laughs> Very well, south it is. Hold on to your hats. Kate Sith, you're not doing anything. <laughs> Tifa's doing it all. Hey, Robocat. You act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody and a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy paste, and forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. What? Cat? My mistake. But you lot are special. How do I drive this thing? Special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Come now. This is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighting.
Oh, she lays just like she does in the original. Feeling any better? Ugh, leave me. <laughs> hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading... You should get yourself... A reading! Ooh! Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um No shot. Mushrooms, eh? No shot he said mushroom. Wait! Barrett! You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Gongaga. Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car. Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? All right. Blow it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. And there you go. He's officially in the party just because. New fights at the Musclehead Coliseum, and now we can choke a race. So there's one reason to go back. I'm curious to see if that happens again. Like later, we get even more. So what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. That, you guessed it, the world's favorite funga. Ooh. Mushrooms <laughs> grow near a reactor. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. Uh, for one thing, very cool detail that Yuffie sits in the front, because the front seat is better for people that have motion sickness. I would know. My wife has motion sickness. So, that's a cool detail. Uh, I feel like there was something else I was going to say about the last scene, but now I forget. What happens if I run into enemies? Alright, that happens. Just take forever to kill. It's a very dumb thing. It doesn't really work. Don't let me down. You can do it. My turn. All right. So yeah, I guess the buggy well it just chills here. You just jump in. And you can also just call it. Sweet. Alright, we can finally just explore.
but what I want to do even more than that let me see this stuffy boy oh he's got some material yeah he's got a magnify and a level boost and a luck up I know, I feel like we've been waiting the entire game for a magnify. I swear we saw one earlier though, I just can't remember where it was. Was it a Chadley thing maybe? Or maybe a GP award? Something. I feel like I remember I saw one but I couldn't get it yet. Can't remember where that was. But other than that, this is... Was it during the flashback? I thought that was one that we could actually get though. Maybe not. Maybe I am thinking of the flashback. In which case, this is the actual first magnify. 44 hours in, we finally get our first magnify. They realized how, cra I mean, even in remake, it was a while before you got one and then it was a really long time before you got a second one, if I remember correctly. They, they knew the power of it. Roll of the, roll of the dice. Got a yellow and an iron. So why is there even a proficiency bonus if he just starts with it? Kinda odd. Deal damage great or small, or perhaps just get your fortune told. He definitely has some some luck to him already. Uh what what material did I lose? Reduces damage dealt by the Moogle. Reduces damage taken by the Moogle. Attack damage, debuff extension. Oh, that's cool. I'll just go straight damage because I don't really know what he does yet. Good lord, Tifa! What is going on with our damage numbers? Cloud has 155 attack, Tifa has 214. Holy moly, are the Kaiser are the Kaiser Knuckles just like insane? Oh, <gasps> Star Shower! I didn't realize I could get Star Shower. Are the Kaiser Knuckles just insane or what? I think they are. Look at the difference in stats. She doesn't even have an ability that it's just the Kaiser Knuckles, they're just insane. Yeah, Star, uh, Star Shower was one of the best abilities in Remake. Because it powers up the next move you do, and that includes limits. And limits were insane in Remake, so if you did Star Shower into a Remake, you could kill everything. That was one of the biggest reasons why Bahamut could be killed in like 10 seconds, was that combo. Did I say Star Shower into a remake? <laughs> star Shower into a limit. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what he can do. Dude, if you do Star Shower into a remake, you get Rebirth.
please laugh. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Look at that big hunk of crystal. Kate Sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty Moogle mount. Press square to attack or summon his Moogle with the Let's Ride ability, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATB commands. As the Moogle attacks, its triangle meter will steadily fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. While astride the Moogle, hold down square to attack alongside your fuzzy pal. Press circle to dismount and triangle to remount. The Moogle will withdraw from the fight once its HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. We do this fast. Oh my god, look at him go. Seemed like it was auto dodging. Because you can't dodge. Because you just jump off of him instead. But he was doing a little twirl. He's really slow. But you, just, you get a ranged attack, so that's cool. So you actually shouldn't get close at all. When you're on the Moogle. Yeah, look, he's twirling. So apparently he can just dodge on his own. Evade an attack, then use the Moogle to counter with a reckless charge. He's dancing. Look at he wall up. So that is. I got my limit! Oh, I gotta be on. Ah, I wanted to see that. Dang it, Cloud. Yeah, let me. Um. and it telling me oh it's on the page oh this is more detailed that's nice okay press square to perform combo attacks with Kate's megaphone hold it down to unleash magical sound wave pressing square after dodging will also unleash a magical sock wave using let's ride while the moogle is summoned will fully restore its hp and remount Kate's sith some of Kate's its abilities, including his limit break, can only be used while in the Moogle. Okay, so there's a combo if you hold it down. That must be the that must be the close-up combo that we're seeing in that video. Targeting the same foe while mounted will increase the power of your attacks and fill the ATB gauge faster. Dismounting will allow you to choose separate targets. As the Moogle attacks, the Moogle meter will begin to fill. Press triangle while mounted to deplete the meter and activate a Moogle ability. The default level one ability is dropkick, so you must be able to upgrade the Moogle ability. 
Oh, I see. Ooh. Some free status effects. But they're made at random. There's a ton of luck involved, which is cool because that's what it's supposed to be. I kind of wish, I kind of wish he went full support. Like, maybe even his attacks heal instead of hurting or something, like, just a straight support character. Would have been interesting. I meant to check his stats and then I kind of forgot when I saw how strong Tifa was. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, he has more attack than Cloud, which is interesting but I also have a weaker weapon on like a it's a more magic based weapon of course he has better magic than him too so I guess Kate sits just a freaking unit um It's kind of hard to discern what kind of character he's supposed to be because his stats are kind of cracked. Like, he has better stats than everyone in almost every category. So I guess he's, like, well-rounded. But he doesn't really have a standout stat. His stats are just kind of nuts. I don't think he's really, like, attack-focused, because Red 13 and Tifa have more attack. Obviously luck, yeah. Luck is just one big, but, like, what does luck really do? don't remember off the top of my head exactly what luck does. It's not crit hit. It might literally be drop chance, because it's not crit. But yeah, other than that, he's pretty much just balanced. He also has uh, direct attack and ranged attack, so that's cool. Similar to Yuffie. Yeah. Steel chance, too. Which we have an equipment for that. Well, it's not... Is it really? Okay, so it, even though it's two separate, it still affects the crit. You're saying. Was this crit actually higher? Look at it. I made the assumption that because it was two number, two different numbers, they didn't affect each other. But, uh... To be fair, that doesn't really make sense because there's also, like, vitality and strength and stuff, and that all affects attack and stuff. Cloud. I've detected proto rel signals emanating Cloud. from a nearby modular reactor. I'm sending you its location. I would like to I was gonna say, is he uh -oh. like Sandstorm must have kicked up or something. Transmission go through? Yeah. I was I was about to say, is he uh Does he have a bad connection because we're in the desert? Does that mean we'll hear less of him? Uh, let's see. So obviously, like, strength affects attack, magic affects magic attack, vitality affects defense, spirit affects magic defense, so luck could affect critical hit chance. And if we look at Kate Sith, he does have a higher crit rate than everyone else. So, there you go. Makes sense. So maybe he has some kind of crit thing he can do late game. Right now, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but unless he has a ton of like multi-hit attacks, but his regular attack is a multi-hit attack. He shoots like five or six of those things, so could give him a luck plus and 
do like a crit build with him. According to legends passed down in Corel, whenever humanity strays from the proper course, Alexander appears to render his righteous judgment. His pronouncements are absolute and cannot be defied. Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shape up. Ah, we should try that. I should try that next time my son doesn't want to eat his vegetables. Oh god, I got ran over. This is a good enemy to fight because he takes forever to kill. Okay, the Moogle seems kind of strong, like just his regular attack. He's not Red 13 Tifa level, but he's doing some damage. I do like how you can split up and hit multiple targets. I feel like overall that'd be a, a lot of damage. He keeps dying though, and then I have to spend an ATB to get him back. I got a one. Everything died. <laughs> Holy cow. Text, 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 text. Appreciate you, but this ain't the place. But I appreciate you nonetheless. Thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah, I think my struggle with Kate Sith right now is like, he feels a bit clunky, like, you have to spend an ATB to get on the Moogle, and the Moogle isn't, like, so strong that it's, like, worth the extra ATB. You know what I mean? Like, in order in order for it to be useful, you would need him to be have something that the other characters don't when he's on the Moogle. But he kind of just becomes a character once he's on the Moogle. So, pretty interesting. What I'm wondering though, well, see what I get, what I get is his free, uh, his like free moves that give us buffs, but I'm not really building up to it very quickly. I can get something good with fortune telling you. Or I can just totally whiff it. Holy moly! Need some damage. I feel like he does some crazy stagger as the cat. Also, so slow on the Moogle. <laughs> I like his block. Come on. Just sticks out his stomach. We've got this. Yeah. 
this combo feels kind of clunky because you have to hold it down to do it and then you have to let go and hold it down again to like continue it. I can't check my folios here, can I? search a little more and then I'll check him. He's definitely cool. I like how unique he is. I like how different he is to play. I think that's going to be important going forward because there's so many characters. They really need to be unique if you're going to use them, you know? is like extra pretty being in the middle of the desert. It just feels so fun after a really long story section to just run around and explore. Even dice roll. just going through pretty much my my goal at the moment is I'm just playing each section until I can beat the summon at full power and then I'm moving on which tends to be about 50% of the stuff but I actually beat Alexander before going to gold saucer so Alexander's already dead so I'm probably just going to explore a little bit and then move on but it's been a long time since I've been able to explore so I want to explore at least some because I've been looking forward to exploring for quite a while and then we got we had to do a bunch of stuff in a row where we couldn't explore and then it let me explore a little tiny area and then back to story so now that it's finally opened up I want to want to take advantage of it a little bit I thought this was a choco stop it is not oh there was one more thing I wanted to look at Where 
Where'd Kate Sith go? <laughs> Went to the bottom because it's not new anymore. Okay, it says as the Moogle attacks, the Mooder, the Moodle, the blah, 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 the Moogle meter will begin to fill. But like, it fills so slow. I was doing nothing but Moogle abilities, and it was it was filling up so slow. Which is like a shame, because it's already slow to have to get my bar and get on the Moogle. So we got some, we got some cack trots, we got some cacarots, we got some Dragon Ball Z. Like look, it didn't, it didn't fill up at all when I did that. I wonder if it resets when you lose them too. He ate my cat. Throw my cat. That moves kind of interesting. Just sit here and hold it. If nothing else, he's pretty fun. What has been my favorite song that's been a remake of an OG song? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's been so many. First one that came to mind was Livestream, but... Oh, the chocolate was here, white. I don't know if it's my favorite. This must be the sandstorm. Wow, thanks, Chocobo. You led me to my death. Sands. What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! Ah! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get. Uh oh. Oh. This form. I can hold no longer. Oh. Oh. Oh no, down I go. Oh, what was that? Oh, thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. I don't want to do this proto-relic mission yet, because I didn't do the previous one. And uh, I feel like the story carries. I don't, maybe. I mean, they're probably separate, but then they connect. But the first one we did it, and then we got that Gilgamesh scene, so I want to do them like in order.
Why is there a bus stop in the desert? Don't worry about that. Not important. Because it used to be, because because there's a because desert bus. Buses go through the desert. my cat again. Stop eating my cat. <laughs> that Gagdwar just got destroyed. like pretty crazy stagger damage. I have decided. It definitely does. Whack. Alright, I got that ability so I can swap back to this one. I feel like like this one better. More materia and more strength. But what abilities does it have? Moogle draws enemy attention, reduces damage, increases luck, increases damage. Let's do luck and this. Uh, actually, no, let's do that. Um, I, one thing I'm actually kind of curious about is if there's some kind of like really cool underlying mechanic where higher luck on Kate Sith actually makes his abilities hit stuff better, you know? Like makes a, a six come up more on the die or something. Or if that's just completely random and then... I mean, I don't really imagine it to be that way. I don't think I've really ever played an RPG where that's how it works, but that would be cool. Definitely doesn't work like that in the original. But yeah, it'd be cool like if you could maximize the luck and then you like always got a six. And like Fortune Teller always did like crazy damage. Please don't talk about mechanics that I haven't found out yet. Please and thank you. Um, let's just go back to Coral. I want to see his foils. You're all good. No worries. Wouldn't recommend going out there. People around here don't take kindly to outsiders. Some kid quest. Forget where if folios are in here. Oh, the bookstore, right? No, Gilgamesh is not in the original. He's in Final Fantasy VIII. Many of the other Final Fantasies. I wouldn't recommend sticking around for long. Wow. 
Hurry it up, would ya? Funnily enough, Seven's one of the only main series games that doesn't have a reference at all to him. Not even a reference. Alright, so... Soldier Moogle class. So he's got the typical stuff. The synergy abilities, the... Free magic abilities. Weapon ability damage. Moogle Sentinel. Max MP. Max HP, ATB charge, MP recovery. ATB bonus, reprieve, enhanced guard, Moogle head start. Enables a random second tier unique ability immediately after calling the Moogles. That would help with the speed of the dropkick thing. I still think it's slow though. You get one off, but then it's slow after that. I don't know, these... These stat abilities are kind of making me feel like he is supposed to be a bit more of a tank. But then he gets stuff like crit, crit damage and stagger siphon and stuff. So I don't know. He really is just all over, but he really is just like balanced across the board. But he has this kind of cool niche crit build he could potentially do late game. I mean, I don't know what else there is to increase crit. There's like an accessory later that increases crit. Plus you could increase luck with a luck plus. And then maybe he has a weapon or like an ability that if he has an ability that scales off crit, that could be really cool. But yeah, other than like a crit thing, he just kind of seems to be a balanced character that has some luck stuff. And unfortunately, he's just a bit clunky to use for me. The Moogle's slow, and the bar takes too long to fill for any of his actual really useful moves. But he's fun, and he's unique, and I like how, I like how unique he is. But I don't think he's my cup of tea. Unless potentially later, he has some like crit build I can do, and then that would... I may be willing to do that, but... For now, I don't think I'm going to use him. I like his book. Thanks. <laughs> what a gorgeous cover. Yeah, and I don't really like him as a support either because a lot of his support stuff is luck based. So you don't know what you're going to get. How do I get out of here? Hey, good to see you, pop star. Good news for you, today's the last day for a bit. Um, I was actually going to ask you guys. We're in kind of a, a nice position here because I was going to do some exploring. So I didn't want to play Rebirth on the night streams because I didn't want people that were following the Let's Play to miss out on story. But we're in a position here where the next thing I'm going to do is explore a bit, so we could play it tomorrow night and just explore and not push the story forward. Maybe I could go back and do the other proto-relic mission. That way we can still play without, yeah. I think I'll probably do that. So I think we will play Rebirth tomorrow night. But if you're following along with the story and you can't make it, don't worry, because we won't do any story. I... I hear the sand giant yelling. 
Okay, I'm dumb and can't figure out my how to get out of here. Oh, I see. There's an opening here now where the buggy drove in. Yeah, and then we'll continue the story Friday afternoon. What do you mean I can't ride the buggy here? The buggy's sitting right over there. I'll ride it right here just to prove you wrong. How do you like that? Now you feel stupid, huh? Cloud, I do what I want. my opinion, exploring side missions actually add a lot to the story overall. I mean, it adds context and background story and stuff, but like, if I only play the game Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're gonna be here till frickin' August. So. If, if you truly feel like a side quest is gonna ruin your ability to enjoy the Let's Play, then either watch the VOD or come on Thursday night. I'm already kind of really putting myself behind by not playing it during the night streams, so. Sorry. <laughs> Just in case people rage in the comments. Well, they can't rage in the comments. The VODs are still going to be at the normal time. It doesn't affect the YouTube at all. Yo, seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, thank you. It's good to have you here. No, it's not that they can't miss what they don't see. They're going to see it. It doesn't affect the YouTube at all. We're only talking about the Twitch here. I'm not, I'm not sure how this is confusing. I'm uploading it. Still the let's play. Seraphic! Thank you for the gift of sub to seriously. Yeah, I've liked the side quest so far. I think the only one that I was kind of in about was the Kyrie one, just because I'm still kind of in on Kyrie in general. But I'm looking forward to being proven wrong. I'm looking forward to the moment where they make Kyrie a cool character and I'm like, okay, I was wrong this whole time. But right now it's like, yeah, what's the point? <laughs> She's just yet another character. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. If they turn Kyrie into a cool character, I will never doubt Square again. Alright. Write it down, boys. I hope we get to see you eat those words, but I don't think we will. <laughs> but I'll hold you to that. It's not that she's, like, terrible or anything. I just don't get her point. Like, I don't get why we need her. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know where she fits in. She's just another character, and this game already has a thousand characters, so it's like, I don't need another one unless we're doing something with her. And it, it felt like they were, like, okay, one thing that I find really strange is the very first time we saw Zack, he handed Cloud over to Kyrie and was like, watch him for a second and ran off. 
and I was like, all right, here we go. We're, Kyrie is going to do something. It's going to be important. There's going to be some connection between her and Zack or her and Cloud or she's going to be the one to tell us that Zack's alive or like something's going to happen. And then literally the next scene, Zack and Cloud were at the house, at Elmira's house. And she was just gone. Like she just, she actually just held him for a second. And that was the extent of her interaction with Zack. So like, now it really could be like, why was she even there? She feels a bit of a throwaway that they just wanted to use for side quests, but they have so many characters to use for side quests that we truly do not need another one, you know? So, that's why I'm just like, I'm waiting for them to prove to me why she needs to be a, you know, is she Yuffie's sister? Is she a secret agent for someone? Is she, does she have some magical power we don't know about? Like, what's going on? Why is she here, you know? In the, in the first game, they kind of hinted at her being, like, important, but then she just didn't end up being important. So, like, I was like, okay, maybe in Rebirth we'll find out why she's important. Hold up. Uh, Kyrie was like hinted at being important in Remake and then Rebirth and then she wasn't so I was like okay they're gonna really like do something special with her in Rebirth and to be fair they are using her more but uh yeah I mean it's just not really she's just kind of she's that character that gets into a pickle and we gotta save her you know Oh no, Kyrie's at it again. I think. Why are there like no enemies around here? To be fair though, I I don't really think it's like a problem that there's so many characters. Gongaga. Wait, she actually said Gongaga. <laughs> Gongaga. Um, she said it because it's Zach's hometown. I just realized. Me, Gongaga. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think th there's too many characters? I don't think I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I forget who this is. That's where I would be like, yeah, there's too many. But they're all so unique and interesting and have like qualities that are that pop out enough to where I don't forget who they are. And I think that's the key. I've watched movies before that only have like four characters and I still get them confused. So I don't think it's a question of like how many they are there are. I feel like it's a question of how distinct they are. If they're not distinct then it can be a problem, but there can be a ton as long as they're all distinct, and I think they're definitely distinct. You know. I immediately know who it is when they walk in, so. Yeah, it's, you know, it's all in the... all in the, uh... the spirit of world building. What are we walking up to? Some gated something. Yeah. I think so. Like I said, I think it's a question of do they stick out or are they blending together? If they're blending together, then that's a problem. But they're not, so. A little parking lot. I feel like I'm supposed to be driving the buggy, but... I wanted to go on foot. These big, long stretches with nothing in them, I think it's because I'm supposed to be riding around on the buggy. Any secrets? Oh, it's an airstrip. Wonder if we get to use this later, wink wink, nudge nudge. Alright, well. 
why don't we save it here? The planet stirs, and it's a picture of Kate Sith pointing. <laughs> Oddly, I, I don't know how they get these screenshots. Sometimes the screenshots are from a cutscene, and other time they're like where I'm actually standing. And sometimes I can't even tell if it's where I'm standing or like, I think that picture they took specifically for it. I guess they're all just pictures they took specifically for it because these are the same. But some of them look like gameplay and some of them don't. Anyways. Yes. Uh, that'll be it for today. Like I said, I think we will play this tomorrow night, but we'll just do side mission stuff. Um, so you can catch the VOD if you can't be here at night, or you can just check the YouTube VOD if you can't be here at night, if you want to not miss that. But if you're just worried about the main story, then you don't need to worry about being there or not being there. But I would love to see you tomorrow night. We stream starting about 7.15, so that's about two hours from now is when we start, and then we end around 11 o'clock. Um, and that's every Thursday night that we stream at night. So, would love to see you there. The night streams are really nice. They're really usually pretty chill. It's usually a lot less people, and it's just kind of chill. And I don't know, night nighttime's a different vibe. So, love to have you there. But um, if you can't be here at night, we will be back on Friday, of course, for Phantasan in the morning and then Rebirth afterwards. So, you can see you there. But we got to say goodbye to you two. Um, this section, man, wow. Really just went above and beyond all my expectations. Um, really, I know I was like a bit let down by the the gold saucer itself in terms of like the content in it. Um, but the whole gold saucer from like beginning to end was really, really awesome. Um, so many memorable spots and moments. The freaking loved the hotel loved the look of coast of um gold saucer and like the the events there and cloud and tifa's relationship continuing to uh go forward and then just man everything with cloud and barrett was just so incredible all right stop spamming my chat buddy i'm gonna get upset it's people like you as to why it's hard for us to even talk to people about those kind of things because you do that. <laughs> yeah. It's very frustrating. As as a believer myself, it is very frustrating to watch people just spam the chat with stuff like that and then that just makes it worse. Just makes it harder to to Yeah. It's not the place, my man. It's not the place. I love you. I appreciate you. This isn't the place. Follow the rules, please. Um, anyways. Um, he's just spamming the same message. Like, anyone's going to listen to that because it's not even a unique message. He's just spamming the same message. Like, anyone's going to take that seriously and... It's unreal, man. There's th that makes me so angry. That, that makes me more angry than someone coming here and being, like, anti... You know, like, being mean to religious people or something are saying like religion is bad or something like that is worse being a bot like that it's frustrating maybe it was an actual bot maybe i kind of doubt it though because i've had people like that here before and yes it's incredibly irresponsible and frustrating um whether or not you believe or not it's just it's it's very frustrating anyways um What was I saying? Oh, so like the entirety of Gold Saucer was great, but really it was Cloud and Barrett, like their relationship. The fact that we had those small extra scenes that pushed them together, like them going off and getting the hotel by themselves and um, just those small moments that built up their relationship so that when we got to the dine part, it could all pay off. That was so brilliantly well done. And then on top of that, 
The dine scene itself was incredible. It was the scene that I was looking forward to the most. In Remake, the scene I was looking forward to the most was the collapse. In Rebirth, it was the dine scene. Both Barrett scenes. Um, and it was perfect, man. It was so good. So, so good. Um, so, yeah, man. What an awesome, awesome day it was. What an awesome section of the game it was. I look forward to doing some more exploring around the desert and seeing what that's all about. Maybe even going back and doing the Proto Relic mission from the previous area so we can keep up with that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we will move on with the story on Friday. So thanks again, YouTube, for watching. Let's play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I appreciate you so much. Oh, also, I meant to say, um, almost forgot, uh, a couple people from, I'm guessing, the Rebirth playthrough, because it was like right when the Rebirth playthrough started, joined the Patreon. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, it is totally not required and totally not expected. It is completely optional and extra to do that. So it means the world to me. Thank you so much, those of you that did join the Patreon. Um, okay, with that, we'll see you in the next episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We'll see you there. Peace.